Now let's talk about the final type of information generated by Woodwork for Inventor, CNC programming or CAM modules. Here we have a prepared device. We've already looked at how drawings are exported, what kind of information is provided in specifications, and now one part remains unaddressed, the automated preparation of CNC programs. Tool and machine setup. The Woodwork for Inventor system has a built-in CAM module responsible for generating CNC machining programs. The most important thing to understand is that this CAM module can operate in two ways. Fully automatic mode, where it creates the program by itself, or manual mode, where we can define each machining operation step by step. The module allows you to define available machines and tools. Everything begins with the tool library, where we specify all necessary tool characteristics. Currently, we are working with four tool types, blind drilling tools, through drilling tools, end milling tools, and saw blade tools. When the user enters a new tool, it is automatically added to the tool pool. Each machine has spindles for different tool types, and we can assign tools to each spindle and define their degrees of freedom. As we can see, we work with various types of machines. BS Works, DXF, Format 4, and one of the most popular systems, machines that operate using WoodWop software. Here's an example of such a machine already defined. Automatic CAM programming. As mentioned, the CAM module can generate machining programs automatically. There's a dedicated section where machine behavior is defined, machining priorities, how the parts should be placed on the machine table, and which operations take precedence. For each operation, default parameters are defined, allowing the system to interpret the geometry and generate the required machining steps. This is handled by a special solver that analyzes the part's geometric shape and tries to build the appropriate machining process. For example, here we have a part. The program has already been prepared, but let's generate the entire process again using the automatic mode. Let's run the auto technology creation mode. We choose to generate the full technology from scratch, and now we observe what the system produces. First, the program is shown in this window. We can see a pocketing operation has been created, along with two cutting operations. For this part, that's sufficient, and all of it was done automatically. Simulation and verification. If we're unsure whether the technology was correctly generated, we can quickly run a simulation. We can watch the process step by step to confirm that everything will be machined correctly. Once we're confident in the result, we generate the final program, which can then be opened directly in the WoodWop program editor. There, the program can be loaded into the machine and executed to produce the desired part. Manual CAM programming. If we decide to build the technology manually, we start by selecting a clamping point and defining how the part is positioned at that clamping point. We can choose one of the four corners. The decision depends on technological considerations. Let's say we choose this corner. Then we specify that we need a cutting operation. We mark the surfaces we want to cut and execute the operation. Each machining step appears in the operations tree and we can verify it to ensure everything is functioning properly. When we need to create a pocket, we select the appropriate tool from the library, let the system automatically detect the geometry and perform the machining. The results can be seen here and again, everything can be verified. Choosing between automatic or manual mode depends on the operator. Full product automation. Now, if we want to automate the machining for the entire product, we simply select the machine and tell the system, generate programs for the whole product. It then prepares the necessary machining sequences. We can check which parts have programs by hovering over the icons. Parts marked with an X don't have programs, while those with check marks do. Let's open one of the automatically generated programs. We can see the machining process is prepared and ready to be used in the CNC machine. And finally, if we return to this general view, 
we can, with a single click, generate all the programs for the entire product. And that's exactly what we see here. 